So I have gone ahead and I have already opened this. So this is what we got. And as, as I was saying earlier, when you have a frame, you're able to manipulate it easily. So the great thing about frames is you can easily fit to a frame. So you just right click it, go down to fitting, fill frame, frame proportionally. It's really, frames are the way you need to do graphics. If you're not currently setting your graphics up in frames, do yourself a favor, use frames. They're amazing. So don't play around when you're setting up your merge templates. Don't worry too much about dragging the, the picture box because you can fully edit it later once you've got it here in your opened proposal. So here's our cover sheet, very simple, straightforward. Let's go ahead and let's look at this in preview mode. Get rid of all those unneeded lines. So here's all the information that we set up earlier. We have our custom field, our project size with the square footage, our project name with the location, the client, it's really everything that we, we set up earlier. Uh, so here, here's the other projects that were associated with them. We chose some graphics that we hope really will stun the client. And as you'll see, like I was saying, it does take your information and it will change the size of your text. You see small text, bigger text. It will change, forcefully change the size of your text to make sure it all fits in one box. So you either need to take it out, take out whatever text you don't want, or you'll need to run it, you'll need to duplicate that page and then you can either link text boxes or you can just copy paste. If you don't know about linking text, just do a quick Google search, link text, InDesign, text box. It's when you have those red arrows at the bottom. Very simple to do. Save you a ton of time if you ever have content that runs on multiple pages. So you can go through and you cannot currently, I should not, let's see, let's test this. Yep, okay, you can apply a style to this even with the forcefully changed text size. So that's one way if things get changed up. You just go ahead and FSP text. These are styles, paragraph styles that I had already set up prior. This is how I like all of my resumes to look. I like to use all of this information. So when you, you set it up in styles, you can consistently have things across all your pages set up in there. Uh, I'm not going to go into that too much right now. If you have any questions about styles, feel free to reach out to me. Here are resumes that we set up. Uh, Mr. William Apple, you, some of you might recognize him. So you can really manipulate your photo here as much as you want. Uh, all, all the options in design are now fully available to you now that you have it out. So as you see, we have our full proposal, and now we're just looking to insert the information that's going to separate us on this individual effort and allow us to win the project. And that is how you set up information in InDesign and Vision.